Welcome to Stock Market Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. This eye-popping stat shows the adverse effect of Chase Claypool. RBA boss says inflation pretty much where we thought seeing rate rise bets tumble. 10-year Treasury yield tops 5%. What investors need to know. Dumb Money, the story of how an amateur vlogger took on Wall St. Brothers, and won. Morgan Stanley chooses Ted Pick to replace James Gorman as CEO. This eye-popping stat shows the adverse effect of Chase Claypool. Yahoo! Chase Claypool's departure from the Chicago Bears seems to have had a positive effect on the team, as they have gone 2-1 to one since trading him away. Additionally, the Miami Dolphins were 5-1 to one before activating Claypool and have since gone 0-1, to one, while the Pittsburgh Steelers were 2-6 to six with him and are now 11-4 to four since trading him. While Claypool is not solely responsible for these teams' success or failure, it is an interesting pattern to note. In his time with the Bears, Claypool caught 18 passes for 191 yards and one touchdown. RBA boss says inflation pretty much where we thought seeing rate rise bets tumble. ABC. Bets on an interest rate rise in Australia next month have fallen significantly after Senate testimony from Reserve Bank Governor Michelle Bullock. Bullock stated that the recent inflation figures were in line with expectations and that the bank is still analyzing the data before making a decision on interest rates. Traders have now put a 60% chance of no change in rates at the November meeting, with a 40% chance of a rate rise. The Reserve Bank will release its new forecasts after the board meeting in a few weeks' time. 10-year Treasury yield tops 5%. What investors need to know. Yahoo! Dumb Money, the story of how an amateur vlogger took on Wall St. Brothers, and won. ABC. The film Dumb Money tells the story of small-time investors who took on Wall Street during the GameStop short squeeze. The movie depicts the battle between ordinary people and wealthy hedge fund managers, highlighting the power dynamics at play. While the film is entertaining, it lacks the moral outrage and political subversiveness of other films about finance, such as The Big Short. The end credits of the film suggest that the victory of the underdogs was primarily a financial one, reinforcing the idea that the system ultimately wins. Morgan Stanley chooses Ted Pick to replace James Gorman as CEO. Financial Times. Morgan Stanley has named Ted Pick as its new CEO, replacing James Gorman, who has led the bank for nearly 14 years and built it into a wealth management powerhouse. Pick, 54, who will start the role on January 1, is seen as a safe pair of hands who has overseen the bank's trading and investment banking businesses. Gorman will become executive chair of the board of directors. Meta earnings beat, boosted by ad revenue rebound, cost cuts. Yahoo! Social media company Meta Platforms, formerly Facebook, has reported better than expected third quarter results, with earnings of $4.39 per share beating estimates of $3.70. The company also reported revenue of $34.15 billion, topping estimates of $33.51 billion. The strong results were driven by higher than expected ad revenue and cost cuts. Going forward, analysts will be watching for revenue growth and the company's ability to demonstrate relevancy with users and advertisers. Molina Healthcare beats profit estimates despite higher medical costs. Yahoo! Molina Healthcare has reported a Q3 2021 profit of $5.05 .05 per share, beating analysts' expectations of $4.88 per share, according to LSEG data. The health insurer's medical loss ratio for Q3 was 88.7% compared with LSEG estimates of 88.34%. Molina's Medicaid insurance rose 2% to 4,757,000 memberships in Q3 from last year, while Medicare grew 11.6% to 173,000 memberships. The company reaffirmed its annual profit forecast of at least $20.75 per share. Meta stock rises 4% as it beats earnings estimates. Yahoo! Meta reported Q3 2022 earnings on Wednesday, beating expectations. The company's Q3 advertising revenue was $33.64 billion, versus the expected $32.94 billion. Meta's Q3 revenue was $34.15 billion, up 23% YOY, while earnings per share were $4.39, up 168% YOY. Thank you for tuning in.
The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.